Hi, welcome to another segment of KISS. That is Keep It Simple Sir, Keep It Simple Senorita, Keep It Simple Sister, and Keep It Simple Saints of God. Surely, we're glad to come into your home once again. What a beautiful show. What a lot of beautiful flowers are surrounding me today. And each and every one of you are going to be blessed in your home with what God is about to share with you with my guests. Today, in the subject for my uh, production today, is the First Lady. And I know a lot of different things may run through your mind, the First Lady, but today you're going to get an inside view of what a First Lady really is in our churches. Today we're going to start with, praise God, a evangelist down the hope, and right around with Mother Hazel Foster, uh, Mother Leona Simmons, uh, I hope I didn't mess her name up that way, but evangelist Annie uh, Norton. So, and they would introduce yourself to the glory of God. Hi, my <coughs> name is Lady Donna Holt. I'm the First Lady at the Mount Olivet Church of God in Christ, where my husband is pastor, Pastor <coughs> Terry Eugene Holt. We're located at 920 South Euclid in Dayton, Ohio. Hi, my name is Hazel Foster, and uh, we are from Grace Outreach Fellowship Church at 649 Miller Avenue, Pastor Charles Foster is the pastor. And that's mm -hmm. Are you in touch with you? <laughs> and my phone number is 937-263-7570. Praise God. My name is Leonia Simmons. I'm from the New Bethany Baptist Church. My husband is the um, founder of it. We just turned it over to our son. And my telephone number is 937-236-5234. Praise God. Hi, I'm uh, Lady Annie Norton. Uh, my church is Mount Zion Transformation Ministries. Uh, my pastor is uh, Pastor Superintendent Carl Norton Sr. And we are located at 548 Anna Street in Dayton, Ohio. Now, you know you got to remember those pastors' name, right? <laughs> <laughs> you're going to be in trouble. You go home and say, you didn't remember my name? <laughs> and you represent me? Praise, Praise God. Praise yes, God. we thank God. As the Bible scripture, I just use it as an opening. We can go anywhere in the Bible you want to as we go through the production, as you know we usually do. But I chose Genesis 2 and 18. And this is a reading from the New King James uh, Version. And it said, And the Lord God said, it is not good for the man to be alone. I will make him a helper comparable to him. Genesis 2 and 18. Now, a lot of times, you know, uh, we hear some say that uh, God called the husband, he ain't called me, and sometimes they want to leave the wife at home and she get quiet and don't do anything. I believe when God say he called the woman to be to help me, that's to help meet in whatever he need her to do. Is that right? Yes. Amen. Praise God. And I, when Mother Day come, everybody talk about the virtuous woman. Boy, what did the virtuous woman do? <laughs> huh? That 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 that, that, that husband looked good in, in the marketplace when he went, right? Yes. So I guess she was part of his ministry or whatever it was, right? Right. <laughs> right. Now my wife just told me, she said, when God called you, he called me, because he called me to help you. Right. He didn't call me to preach, he didn't call me to preach. But yeah, some of y'all exactly. preachers, so you got dual roles here, right? Yes. <laughs> but the thing is, I'm gonna ask you individual, I mean, and you jump in any time you want to. A lot of times, I believe the first lady is often overlooked, even the president of the first lady, the White House, when it comes to the national first lady, she's the host mm -hmm. to the right. White House. Mm -hmm. The things that you put together, the invitation, you know, whether they're parties, uh, occasions, that is her part because her husband can't do it all, can he? No. 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 And I know some of the women start and the, the good neighbors Sunday and all, a lot of people don't realize who is behind that. All they know is something happened. The pastor must do it, but we today, God put on my heart to shine a little light on our first ladies. Mm -hmm. all right. <laughs> Let the people really know who the first lady is. We are not just sitting back sucking our thumbs and fixing the meal every now and then and 
We're there when the husband come home all down and beat out and he's sad. Who, who's there to help him? Right. Rub his right. head. Well, his right. hair nice balls on him, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> what? I, but what? She's there to be a comfort that nobody else see. Yes. That first lady see the strength and the weakness of what? Husband. The pastor, the husband. Right. But when God made you one, did he not make you one in everything? Is that right? Yes. Mm -hmm. right. Praise God. See, I have some stories from first ladies. I want you to tell me your stories. I know a first lady, Mother Stone, said when her husband was building the church, he didn't have any help around. She would take a rag or string and get those heavy bro bricks and drag them to the ladder for him to pull up the later blocks. Wow. Yes. Now, I don't want to be quietly that stranger, but there are things that the first lady yes. is there to comfort, to encourage. When he come down, who's there to encourage him when he come home all down and out? And not yet, not yet, know y'all do. Oh, yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> romance the stone or whatever it is. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Being yeah. able to have the spirit to be able to be there for him when he comes. Mm -hmm. They don't know why he comes to church smiling. Uh oh, you do, don't you? <laughs> 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 they probably didn't beat him up and he said, hurt all kinds of things. He's human, right? Amen. Right. So, mm -hmm. therefore, do you feel that it's a ministry being the first lady? Yes. Oh, yes, it's mm -hmm. definitely a ministry. Yes, that's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. I had to minister to the husband. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sometimes you had to recall the scripture he didn't preach down, baby. Now you know. You got to have that faith. You got to be that encourager, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. Yes. That's right. Now, I did it purpose on my wife. Praise God. I, I, I would get, uh, tell her the scriptures, and, and she thought I was being hard on him. My brother was the same way. And when he was uh, joining with me, telling her the scripture, she said, y'all just get everything in that Bible that fit, fit y'all. <laughs> 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 but I figured if I gave her a straight enough, I babied her and played around with her, I'm going to expect that when I get weak, right? That's right. 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 But we don't want, that's not the kind of weakness we need, is it? No. No. So if I be strong with her, she can be glad. Y'all know, yeah, I get him now, want to. <laughs> well, what's some other roles that you you play that someone there at home may not realize the role of the first lady? Some things you do that maybe you never had a chance to share. You know, a lot of times we're quiet and sit back and you had a chance to share a few things today about that role of a first lady. Uh, Bishop mm -hmm. Norton, um, um, thank you for having me. And um, and I thank God for the ministry that you're yes. doing here. Yes. A, a wonderful ministry. Um, uh, you know, the First Lady, they call her First Lady, um, but actually we are a pastor's wife. Mm -hmm. and, um, and the scripture that you read in, in Genesis, uh, when God made Adam, he said, um, you know, he took mm -hmm. the rib out and he made Eve and she's going to be his help me. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, and that's the ultimate um, uh, role that we we play uh, being being a pastor's wife uh -huh. is to help out a husband and to agree with him. And, you know, we have to be. Uh, with one mind, oneness of mind, mm -hmm. we Amen. can't be divided and be be affected. Right. And um, and and our job mainly is to 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 be by his side. Mm -hmm. And uh, and when God uh, in in Jeremiah, when he uh, called the pastor, he gave gave him to to feed my people. Mm -hmm. And, and to give them knowledge and understanding, and um, and when he gave the pastors um, uh, orders, uh, and what they supposed to be, um, and uh, as you were saying, you done took everything from us. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, in a lesser degree, the wife uh, is doing practically what what the the pastor is is doing you're walking by his side you're not going in front of him Amen. but by his side mm -hmm. and um and his load can get very heavy mm -hmm. uh being being a pastor um you know we, we experienced this mm -hmm. and um because he was doing so much and uh he was teaching sunday school teaching bible class and <laughs> preaching yeah. right. and and then he would get a call and people needed rides and 
He may mm -hmm. have to go and pick up two or three people, and that's where I would step in. Right. Mm -hmm. And I would step in, well, I'll teach the Sunday school. <laughs> mm -hmm. I would teach Sunday school. And there was a few times when he was late getting there, I had to open up the service and, you know, in <laughs> right. prayer and exhortation and um, had to be a help. And then, uh, I hope I'm not going too no, far, no. Uh, mm -hmm. then being a pastor's wife, um, you uh, have a ministry teaching the young women. Mm -hmm. um, because uh, we we have uh, we meet it once a month and we deal with issues. You know, women uh, they have they want to talk about issues and you know maybe marriage and relationships and things and and, and teaching the young women also to love their husbands and, mm -hmm. and how to take care of their children and uh, these are some of the main things that a pastor's wife to do is first is take care of your husband take care of your house, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. your children, and, and love them. And, and then we have the ministry of taking care of the saints, mm -hmm. Amen. taking care of the people of God. You, you have to love them. And, um, and, and first of all, you need to be saved and yes, sanctified Lord, and, and Holy Ghost filled. Yes. Because uh, uh, you're, dealing, you're dealing with different spirits and yes. all kinds of spirits. Yes. And uh, you have to love the Lord. Yes. And, um, and it's just so many things that a first lady um, goes through, yes. goes through with. And, uh, and, and, and the thing that I had to learn was to pray. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, you have mm -hmm. to develop mm -hmm. a prayer, prayer life. life. Amen. Prayer life, because some things uh, you have to take it to the Lord mm -hmm. in prayer. Right. And, you know, right. some people may think that being a, 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 a pastor's wife, we're talking about first ladies, uh, uh, they think it's all glorious mm -hmm. and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and that you're put up on a pedestal, but they just don't know how low we be sometimes yes. mm -hmm. uh, because of all that we, we have to, to go through with. I'm going to stop there just so much. <laughs> well, you know, that let us know it, it, it's a ministry, isn't it? It's the, yes, it, but it is. But I have to ask you all this question now. You can do it with the help of the Lord. Oh, mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have a problem with being a first lady, would you rather be a second lady? <laughs> <laughs> Any of you? No. Pastor Why? So don't call me a first lady. I'm the Pastor White, but would you mean to call you the second lady? <laughs> well, I tell people I'm the only lady. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> I was right. saying, if you don't want to take the, the honor of being first lady, maybe you won't be second lady and we have to find them. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. But the first lady is a responsibility there. Yes, yes. It yes. and it is a ministry. Yes. That's right. It's a ministry, and it's first to your husband. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. uh, and then to the church. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as the Bible states, you are help meet suitable for him. That's mm -hmm. right. You were asking, well, do you think he was just called or were you both called? Uh -huh. The Bible says the footsteps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord. Yes. Mm -hmm. And if you are following in the footsteps of God, I believe that your footsteps were ordered in a place mm -hmm. where the two of you would come together. Mm -hmm. We take these vows, what God has joined together. Mm -hmm. Let no man put asunder. Exactly. Amen. And so if God has joined you together, he ordained and knew mm -hmm. being the wise God that he is, that that's where you were going to be. Yes. Yes. And because of that, the calling is not just on his life, it's on yours as well. Mm -hmm. In order to be a first lady, there must be, it's a ministry. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's not, you know, a lot of people will say, well, I've seen people who project it as if it's a handkerchief and a big hat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. But it's not a hanky and a big hat. Right. Mm -hmm. And like my sister said, there's a lot that you have to deal with and endure. And you have to be able to be suitable for your mate and yes. be able to be there when they need you, which means you do have to have a prayer life. That's yes. right. Amen. You have to have a prayer life. You have yes. to cover your husband, cover your house, yes. cover the Amen. church. Oh, yes. Amen. You know, when you finish, and, and there are times you have to step in. I was always taught mm -hmm. that when he has to step away, you should be able to step in. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. You should be capable of doing that. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. And I know a lot of us have been, a lot of pastors mm-hmm. and since then, we used to have the Bible studies in the basement because it was the, the expense of, you know, having that big church, you know, air or, mm-hmm. or utility. And so when we had the church in the basement, I'd be up in the office, mm-hmm. coming down a little late sometimes because it was out of, the st- out of the city. And I know my wife said, they always want to sit around. She said, oh, no, no. He's coming down, but we got to pray. We got to open service. up service. That's right. And that, that first lady jumped right in there to carry mm-hmm. on mm-hmm. because she know that is the role, that mm-hmm. part of helping. That's yes. right. Yes. Whatever the, the husband has put forth, she's there to reinforce and no one else step up. Right. right, and especially in the early times when when, when the, the church is small, and just getting started. Right, yes. right. Yes. That first lady got to do everything. Amen. Right. If right. she can't play the piano, she got to go in and try to do something. <laughs> with the tambourine, to get the spirit going. Or <laughs> so it is really a ministry. Yes. yes. And even though well, I don't see where there's no first lady in the Bible, I know you heard some of those things probably. Yes. Mm-hmm. I never seen a choir director in there either. Does that, does that mean there's not a choir director? Mm-hmm. My Lord. Huh? I, I've never seen uh, a lot of zillers we have now have yet. Mm-hmm. Never heard of a Sunday school superintendent in the Bible either, That's have right. you? That's right. That's mm-hmm. right. So mm-hmm. a lot of times we get called up, people don't want to take on our time because they think what people want upon them or expect of them. Mm-hmm. But people expect a lot out of the first lady. And I'm sure, mm-hmm. I'm sure a lot of ladies, y'all ears open, y'all ears burn sometimes. Oh, yeah. When people feel like she ain't what she's supposed to be, and she don't dress like no first lady. Mm-hmm. They put a whole lot of things they put out on you. I don't like no first lady to me. We all have that. And the same thing as the minister. He don't act like no pastor to me. You ever seen a pastor do that? We're under the critical eye of people all the time. Yeah. Right. But it comes to the time we got to be able to express ourselves. Maybe you get a chance to say, hey, this is what I like or don't like. Mm-hmm. This is a work. And those of you in the church that pray, pray for me too. That's right. That's right. Because That's right. I am holding up the arm of your leader. Mm-hmm. Right. That's I right. am there with him when he need, when you don't see when he's sick. That's right. When there's no one else to pray, when the pastor needs somebody to pray for me, who do he call? Right. Now, y'all ain't got to tell me, but I know many times the pastor wife Amen. and he got a hand, hand right. on that first, that pastor, <coughs> isn't he? That's right. Yes. He's a church leader, but uh, mama, evangelist, or whatever you want to call her, that first lady. Got to be there and pray if she got the spiritual life to pray. Right, 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 right. right. Who she said, I'm going to call a deacon, I'm going to call a mission, I'm going to call somebody for you, baby. Mm-hmm. So you mean the first lady ministers to the leader? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. And you know, there are many times, like she said, when people are late coming in and you don't want things to drag along, you go and start Sunday school or whatever. <laughs> And keep it moving until he gets there. You're right. It's uh, you, you, you know it's amazing how people people see you, but they don't know what you're going through. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh-huh. Yes. But yeah. God uh-huh. has given you know us the ability to keep it going until he uh, you know get get yeah. that. You're the host. That's right. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're the host That's of right. the house. Mm-hmm. If the leader of you there in the house, you want to bring somebody else to host your house? No. <laughs> 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 so there's some responsibilities, is it that? Yes, it yes. is. For that first lady. Mm-hmm. And I know, if Benjamin Annie, of course, if you're going to send it, I'll bring you out, baby. You know I'm going to talk. What did you have to say about being a first lady? Well, uh, I know that, um, as the ladies have said, the sisters have said, that we have to um, promote. Uh, the ministry, and we have to uh, help our husbands out. Now, my uh, capacity is the um, president of the women's department. Okay. So I have that responsibility to try to um, enable the women teach. And um, what we what what I'm trying to do now is um, uh, be um, the example for the women mm-hmm. um, because you know in Titus it says that uh, we are to be um, an example you know for the women we should be sober mm-hmm. and um, we we have to have uh, good conversations uh, we must be um, thoughtful patient mm-hmm. 
and uh, we have to walk in love. Um, and our behavior must become, uh, we, we must be, uh, we must, our behavior must be becoming holiness. Mm -hmm. And um, we should be um, teachers of good things. Mm -hmm. So that's what uh, I'm trying to do uh, with the women's department is to be like uh, what it says in Titus 2. So in other words, the pastor's wife is almost as example just like the pastor has to be, isn't it? Right. Right. Mm -hmm. He had to be an example to the flock and whether they said or not, they're watching the pastor's wife. Right. That's right. I know some pastor's wife want to sit in the back of the room, but I don't care if you sit in the back of the room. They know where you're at. That's right. <laughs> They're right. watching they you. Right. What you do, they listen to what you say. And a lot of times, believe it or not, when the pastor preaches, they look at his wife. Yes, they do. See how he... Yeah. How she, mm -hmm. Can he preach? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but they be trying to read to the pastor's wife. When he said that... Yes. Mm -hmm. What was the first lady looking like? What was she doing? Yes. Was she in agreeing? Mm -hmm. Like she was in doubt? Mm -hmm. Like she wasn't with him? Yes. It's something where written epistles read them in. Right. right. All yeah. over us, they read us on a daily <laughs> basis. Not so much what we say, they look at what we do. That's right. Children in the home, they don't always do what the parents say, they look what the parents mm -hmm. do. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they watch you, man, they tell you as a child, when they get old enough, they tell you. I remember when you did that, Mama, that wasn't right. right. <laughs> they grown, oh, then they yeah. think they can right. tell you now. <laughs> right. And yeah. we are always under the spotlight. Yes. Mm -hmm. We are always under the spotlight, and um, sometimes it doesn't feel quite fair right. because we're human just like everyone else. Exactly. And people expect that when you come out front, you have on the best face, no matter if you're That's ill, right. mm -hmm. no matter if your feelings are hurt, no matter if you don't feel well, right. you're supposed to hide all of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to pretend nobody hurt your feelings. Mm -hmm. yes. You're supposed to pretend everything is all, you know. And that's why sometimes as first ladies, we have to come together because we can't always talk. To, mm -hmm. We can't talk to everyone. Right, right. right. You know, not that you're hiding anything, but mm -hmm. it's it, it's just the way things are. Mm -hmm. But right. people will try to put you in a box or put you in a place or pre-scribe uh, in their minds what a first lady should be. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. I mean, I actually had someone tell me years ago when I bought a car, uh, first ladies don't drive cars like that. And I said, <laughs> you know, what am I supposed to drive? A Yugo? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. why can't I have a nice car? Right. Oh, yeah. you know, wh why did you put me in this box and decide? Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, I think what we have to be is what God has called us to be. Right. Amen. And we are all individuals. And when he called me, he understood my personality. Yes. He understood what I could bring to the table yes. for my husband. And, you know, things that are bad, all of us have to get rid of those yes. things. Yes, Lord. That's no different for any. Body, mm -hmm. But who I am, I'm able to bring that to the table as a first lady mm -hmm. and be a blessing. You know, I think about the first lady in the White House. Mm -hmm. The first lady in the White House is given certain tasks mm -hmm. by her husband. Mm -hmm. She comes up with an agenda, much mm -hmm. like uh, First Lady Norton says. Yeah. She has an agenda, okay. and that's the agenda she's working on for the year. Uh -huh. Like all of us, we have mm -hmm. tasks that we're assigned to do besides the tasks that we are assigned at home. Mm -hmm. And we have to work those tasks in our own unique way. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. You know, we don't have to copy anybody or anything like that. We just have to bring what we have to the table, our mm -hmm. talents and our gifts, yes. and be able to be a blessing to the body. Because yeah. mm -hmm. that, that husband, he's unique. Like I tell you, People try to put pastors in the box. Right. Mm -hmm. You don't act like mm -hmm. pastor. You don't act like they act like that. Wait a minute. I'm not that pastor. Did you, <laughs> did you know? Did you just say what my name was? Yes. <laughs> we are different. We are not the same. Right. Yes. So what happened in this pastor's life and that why that God give him is there for him? Mm -hmm. Because he has certain needs. That's right. And yes, ma'am. He says, that's right. <laughs> that's right. He does have certain needs. And yeah. you're, right. You're, that, you're there to support him, whatever, whatever those needs are. Right. And you can help him with. That's what you're there for. That's right. right. And every other woman in the church is other woman in the church, but she can't supply that need that your husband needs. That's right. But if, they, if she tried to come, it's because something you are not doing, 
Because you're supposed to stand up and say, I am who I am. Mm -hmm. We can't take a back seat, can we? Oh, no. <laughs> in other words, sometimes we would sit back and not do it. And when somebody else step in, they would say, no, why are they doing something? You got to do it. Is that right? That's right. We are there supporting the call. Uh, uh, we want to be like Abraham. When Sarah didn't feel like she could do it, he had to get the bond woman. Mm. <laughs> Why? Because Sarah, she felt in that particular capacity. You know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. yes. I just use that example. We have to step up to who we are. Mm -hmm. Even though people are going to talk, they talk about the pastors and leaders, don't they? Right. Y'all know That's that. Right. Right. They do. He come up with a sermon they don't want to hear. Oh, my God. You hear all kinds of things. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I heard him. He needs to talk to that wife of his. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all, they in the forefront again, right? <laughs> so, these, if you don't speak out, I'll speak out a little bit, you know? Yeah. Be able to share what, and, and anniversary days coming around. Because they feel like they're to give them some now. Not everybody, you know what I'm talking yeah, about. They right, got some, right. some pros and cons. Right, right. She got everything. I don't know what. You ever hear that? Yes. I don't yes. know why that. Mm -hmm. Yes. I don't know what to get her. They got everything already. That's when they want to say, I want to give you nothing. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yes. But we have to respect and honor. And if God has blessed us with the position, mm -hmm. shouldn't we be able to receive honor? Well, right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's right. right. And Bishop, like, uh, like uh, uh, you know, the first lady, she's faithful. She's, mm -hmm. she's there uh, every time the doors open, mm -hmm. uh, and, and she's praying for everybody. Yes. Uh, praying for the saints. Uh, I know we have uh, prayer, prayer hours at, mm -hmm. you know, at the church, and we even have a prayer line, mm -hmm. and, and we are praying for the men, we pray for the women, the children, we pray for the pastor, and, um, and, and the first lady need, need prayer and, and support too, yes. right. uh, because you know, we, we are human, I think Sister Hope kind of spoke on it, you know, we are human just like, like everybody else, yes. mm -hmm. um, and we just have this calling special calling upon our lives mm -hmm. and um, and we sacrifice right, uh, right. Uh, you know mm -hmm. we, we we sacrifice uh, when, when when you know we need to be home doing something uh, we put it aside mm -hmm. we put God and his people first mm -hmm. first mm -hmm. and, and and because I'm praying for you you pray for me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you pray for me and a, a first lady is only a one lady right. and she's trying to do for everybody, everybody. Right. she's loving <laughs> she's loving the women she's loving the men mm -hmm. she's loving the little children mm -hmm. and and when everybody else can turn and go home and care less about <laughs> about someone needing just an extra prayer uh -huh. you yeah. know after church just touch my head you know just touch me and and, and, and pray for me or loan me a few dollars or buy me some growth. You know, everybody right. else can go home, mm -hmm. but, but you got, you got to, to meet this, this need mm -hmm. to support, you know, the, the <coughs> God's people because uh, we, we, ch we are chosen and we have to do what God has placed, placed us to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and, and y'all beat us up a little bit because y'all shame, y'all freak because the husband's around. But, you know, a lot of times when we got to do counseling after church service, mm -hmm. and y'all don't get to get to dinner on time, mm -hmm. because he found something, the Lord had got him to stay long hours to speak long, because y'all know I'm a long speaker anyway. Mm -hmm. So I know my wife had to get adjusted <laughs> to what? Because there's somebody in need. That's, that's right. right. That's right. And that is something that sacrifice. You mentioned patience, patient, but that being able to have to be patient with the husband, knowing that he's doing what God what God is. will. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of time my wife said, "Well, I'm gonna be late." She said, "Every Sunday, like you got to be late because they got the same story, they got the same counsel." <laughs> and I know y'all get tired of that, but he had that responsibility. To look after that, that, <laughs> those that, that God has placed there. The sheep. Mm -hmm. It may look like somebody may say, hey, they just plain. You need to let them go home. Mm -hmm. They just keep holding up your time and holding me up too. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> but that, when God has something for us, mm -hmm. is a special role right. in being a pastor's mm -hmm. wife. 
Sometimes they sit a long time waiting for him to get finished with a, a special counseling session in the office. Mm -hmm. Or somebody with auxiliary want to talk to him an extra time, they can't talk to him during the service. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, if I don't know what I'm talking about, y'all speak up. <laughs> oh, no, you, you know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, you know, right. and it's, um, it's a sacrificial life. Mm -hmm. That's right. Like she it's said, so it's, it's about a lot of sacrifice. Yeah. As a help me helping him, you understand that uh, you have to share him. Mm -hmm. That's right. And you have to oh, share yeah. him That's with right. a lot of yes. people. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you have to share him all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, the phone is ringing at hours, then you don't want it to ring. <laughs> Uh, and you have to sometimes, as she said, give up what you were about to do mm -hmm. to either do something he's asking you to do because he's got called away to another place. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you have to be a woman who is able to walk in her own skin mm -hmm. and be confident in it. Yes. You know, because you are sharing him with other people. Yes. And uh, that's why you have to be able to find your place in the ministry. You know, I truly believe that as we help, him accomplish the will of God for his life, our things are accomplished as well. Amen. Those things that we want mm -hmm. to accomplish are also accomplished. Yes. You know, we're just, you know, I've seen people who feel, or first ladies who may feel like, well, you know, I'm just here in the back seat. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't think you're there in the back seat. I think when you learn to find your way in Christ mm -hmm. yes. and find, yes. you know, your role, mm -hmm. then you understand your role. Yes. And you flow in that role, understanding that it's all about this one ministry and this one mission. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, but you also understand the sacrifice mm -hmm. of, uh, of the ministry. Yes. That's right. That sometimes, yeah, you have late evenings and sometimes you don't always get to go on the vacation that you wanted to <laughs> at the time that you wanted to go yes. on the vacation. Mm -hmm. yes. But I believe that God blesses us in the end. Yes. You yes, know? he does. Yeah. And you know, you hit an interesting yes. area, finance. That's another thing that happens a lot of times. Uh, maybe he wanted that vacation, but he had to kick in for something fell short in the church. Mm -hmm. That's right. I don't know. Y'all probably didn't experience that, though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think, and, and the Lord is not one that, uh, of the confusion. Mm -hmm. Because I remember it was one time it was a place that God, I, I was in a pulpit. I couldn't get to my wife. It was a large tent service. And they were taking up an offering, and no, we didn't have, but I had just that check. But the Lord had given me to put a large sum of that mm -hmm. in. And, of course, I'm bad because I got to do it, and I know the Lord wanted me to do it. Mm -hmm. But later on, when I got to my wife, she looked at me, she said, I knew you was going to give it. The Lord let me know you was going to give it before Praise you God. gave it. Mm -hmm. When you said that, being in contact with the Lord, if that ministry of that wife is in contact with the Lord, how did she know the Lord told me? I didn't even know he was going to tell me to give it. <laughs> but she was able to receive it. She said, mm -hmm. I knew you was going to give it before you gave it. Mm -hmm. Even though we didn't have it to give. Yes, mm -hmm. Lord. Mm -hmm. That is what it means by being one. Yes, That's right. But see, when the enemy get in and cause a confusion, because wait a minute, we're not one. We're not understanding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As God said, he's not the author of confusion. He's not the author of confusion. Mm -hmm. Amen. When he told Mary she's going to have that baby, he also sent an angel at Joseph. <laughs> yes, he did. He had to minister to him. That's right. <laughs> so, and not always leaning to our own understanding. But I tell you what, if y'all don't bet for us, I'm going to start betting for the men. This will be the first lady's talking to uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> But a lot of times uh, you have opinions, but your opinions, uh, you have to keep them for the benefit of the church mm -hmm. and to support your husband, mm -hmm. being a first lady, you have a lot of times in reference to, and then also uh, a lot of times you have um, people like uh, Lady Holt, I think, and um, Lady Foster was saying, uh, they have like the same stories and you're wondering, well, what's the story this time? Are you holding us up, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, how long is it gonna be? <laughs> mm -hmm. But, you know, I found that uh, in, a, in a, one particular situation, we had a young lady that, um, she used to do that often. Mm -hmm. 
but you know she she didn't have a family that she could really relate to yeah. okay. and her she said well I my parents they don't my mother don't care they don't ask me where I'm going what I'm gonna do or anything like that so w basically we were her family yes. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Be but mm -hmm. we did at first I didn't know what she what she was doing mm -hmm. And she used to just kind of like get on my nerves. <laughs> but after a while, you know, you have to kind of see a lot of times where people are really coming from. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, that same young lady, the Lord bless her, because she was faithful. Mm -hmm. She would uh, do almost anything for the pastor. Uh, and she never treated me uh, any way uh, different mm -hmm. or anything. Because, you know, I never really let her know that I was, like, looking <laughs> at her side. <laughs> but she never treated me uh, all for uh, disrespectful or anything like that. Because, you know, I never really let her know or let her think, like, well, what are you doing? Or mm -hmm. what are you saying? Mm -hmm. But she, uh, the Lord blessed her with a beautiful family. Praise yes. God. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, you know, a, a, a nice family to be in. And that same young lady now, even though she's, uh, I guess, maybe seven or eight hundred miles away from us, mm -hmm. she contacts us on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. Now she's going to talk to Pastor, mm -hmm. but she contacts us. And when she comes, every year she comes for the anniversary, mm -hmm. even if she mm -hmm. has to come just her Praise by God. herself. Mm -hmm. She would drive by. Her. She mm -hmm. won't even let us know. But mm -hmm. you know, this is one of the rewards you will see if you treat mm -hmm. people correctly. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Yes. yes. Right. And the thing is, the patience that a lot of times, even I'll be honest with you, a lot of times the pastors don't know which direction they're going mm -hmm. because they are waiting on God. Yes. Mm -hmm. I've been in some situations, you probably heard me say before, my church mother adopted me as her dad when she was probably in her 80s, 86 or something. Wow. In her 90s, she still, and her kids was older than me, but she would say, say your oldest daughter wants you. Mm -hmm. But I looked at it as an honor. Mm -hmm. Working yes. a woman 89 yes. years old, find mm -hmm. a dad. Mm -hmm. But sometimes we look at things calmly without understanding. Yes. Mm -hmm. But God have a way. He has something there for somebody. Yes. Like you were saying, you was a parent to that child. I got I got babies now. I come here, we call my baby, call me from Maryland, call me from Cleveland, call me from Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. And they really, some of them look at it and say, if it wasn't your daughters up there, I would tell them to get away because I'm your real daughter. Mm -hmm. You know, but they, it's a love thing. Mm -hmm. right, right. And sometimes it seems like those folks that are not your natural children need you more and, and they don't see the mm -hmm. benefit the mother or the father in you mm -hmm. as much as a stranger does. That's right. And they cherish, oh my God, you got a mama like that? Mm -hmm. You got and, and you know the same thing in the church world. You may not realize, they may not come and tell you, hmm, I wish my first lady was like that one. Mm -hmm. She looked, she cared for the members, she cared for the yes. state, she cared for yes. us. And people know when you love and not love them. That's right. right. You don't have to always be up in their face to love them, but people can feel love. Right. They can. You know, That's and when, when, when I said a lot of times, the pastor, I know in myself, I, I don't know. I remember the church one time, they had acted up, they had done something wrong, there was no company there, and most of the church was there that Sunday morning, and I was going to get up and find the pulpit and tell them in a nice way that I didn't like. Something had taken place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when I got to the pulpit, I stood behind the pulpit, I said, God bless you this morning, thanks. Mm -hmm. Even I'm wondering, where did that come from? <laughs> I was going to tell them off a little bit. Yeah. But the Bible said, you're not your own. That's no, right. No, huh? you bought with yes. a price. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And maybe the wife back there, you needed, I thought you were going to tell them off today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you need to stop them from what they're doing. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, so, but in prayer for understanding, and yes. when we say we're not on, we say that. That's right. But we don't always respond the way we want to respond because it's God, it's God. Mm -hmm. that's doing a different thing. Mm -hmm. That's, that's right. right. Mm -hmm. You know, the greatest uh, thing we can do as far as legacy, sometimes people think legacy is my name on a building. 
Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. uh, whether my name goes up in lights, whether mm-hmm. my name is on the marquee, the greatest investment is what you put in people. Yes, that's right. Bible says only what you do for Christ oh, yes. will last. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. mm-hmm. And so uh, it's what we impart to people yes. that lasts. Yes. You know, it's not how well I preach. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's not how well I minister. Yeah. It's not what I had on the sharpest dress. Right. It's whether when I am gone on to be with the Lord, yes. that what I have passed on yes. by the Holy Ghost yes. will last with somebody yes. and, be, and will still impact their yes. lives. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. I'm thankful for the mentors that I had yes. that yes. even though they're going on to be with the Lord, yes. they changed my life. Yes. Yes. We ought to be transformed. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. We ought to transform people's lives. Yeah. So even as first ladies, our job is to be that kind of example yeah. mm-hmm. to other women when there's so many other negative examples exactly. That's right. of what young women should be like mm-hmm. and behave like. Mm-hmm. We should be that shining example of what a real woman should behave like, yeah. act like how she should carry herself. Yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, that's what makes the impact when you can look down the road and see the fruits of your label. Yes. When yeah. you can see, like First Lady Norton said, when you can look down the road and you have a return on your investment, that's all God wants from us. That's right. Mm-hmm. Is a return mm-hmm. on his investment. Exactly. And that's what we should want to invest in the lives of people and watch them grow. Exactly. Like yeah. you said, they're watching the First Lady. If you don't realize they is, and be at home saying, Hmm. I seen the first lady cuss her husband. I don't know why I can't cuss yes, my Yes, that's true. Uh, that's true. <laughs> she told him also. <laughs> yeah. um, you, you know, you were talking about, um, uh, you know, you was going to really blow him out that Sunday morning. Uh-huh. And, and First Lady Norton said, um, you know, you don't say what's on your mind. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes... You know, the saints can, can make you angry, you know, yes. somebody. Yes. And you want to get up there and just tell, mm-hmm. tell them all. But, um, mm-hmm. but you have to learn to hold your peace. Yes. Amen. Amen. You know, don't, you know you, you'll be sorry yes. if you, if if you, you just mm-hmm. let them have it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Later on, you'll be like, I wish mm-hmm. <laughs> I, said it. I hadn't mm-hmm. said that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it's best to just hold your peace. And usually it pans out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Everything mm-hmm. work out and you didn't have to fuss or stomp your feet or do anything. That's right. It, it, it just work itself out. Mm-hmm. These first ladies yeah. be changing lives for people, not only in the church. I was thinking about First Lady Rose, uh, Eleanor Roosevelt. Yes. How many years she been gone? They still talk about First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They are still talking about Michelle Obama. Yes. How many, wait a minute. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She was only the first lady, but she left such a legacy. That's mm-hmm. right. Yeah. That That's she right. and she was her husband was cool, so she was cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They talked about her, and you know they openly spoke against her. Yes. Anyone else would have brought fire brimstone down mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. things that they insinuated about this woman and her family, mm-hmm. but she was cool and rose above the top. That's right. That's right. I, that old song we used to sing on sing. If I hold my peace, let the Lord let the Lord, Lord Victory, victory, victory. victory. We'll be mine. We got victory yes, in Lord. Him. Yes. You Lord. know yes. the Bible says that a wise woman built her house. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. And so, as a first lady, you have the opportunity to either tear down mm-hmm. or build. Or build. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, and when you build a house, you do that brick by brick, saint by saint, uh-huh. soul by soul. Yes. In so many marvelous ways, you can do that. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, you cannot feel, um, I've met people sometimes who feel threatened by their husband's place. Mm-hmm. But when you understand, you know, the power that will that God gave a woman, uh-huh. then you can walk mm-hmm. in that power. Yes. He mm-hmm. gave us the power of influence. Yes. Mm-hmm. You yes. know, one woman can, as a, you know, in your home, a woman changes the atmosphere and the mm-hmm. thermostat in her home. Yes. Mm-hmm. If she's mad, everything's a mess. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it's the same way in the church. Yes. If she's happy, mm-hmm. 
things go a certain way. Mm -hmm. So God gave you the power of influence, mm -hmm. and we have to know as first ladies how to use that mm -hmm. influence. Yes. That's right. How to mm -hmm. apply that influence to build the house right. and not to tear down the That's house. Right. Yes. And you can, you know, it's like um, a man at the top, or a, a, a Michelle Obama was an asset on the arms mm -hmm. of Barack, Barack Obama, yes, 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 you know, yes. and she didn't have to say a word. She could stand beside him and smile. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's right. Oh, yes. You know, just by the fact that she's standing there because God has given us the ability of influence. Yes. Knowing who you are. Knowing who you are. And not who people try to make you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Because right. mm -hmm. people try to persuade even pastors. Mm -hmm. There's constant people trying to change you to think and do like mm -hmm. they want you to do. Right. And that's what confusion come in. That's right. that's right. We're trying to please everybody else. Mm -hmm. The war when all men speak well of you, is that the scripture? Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. Amen. I, I had a friend that told me one time, he said he was, uh, he's gone on now, but he was saying, he raised his kids by himself basically, and uh, he always loved the Corvette and nice cars and so forth. But when his kids got grown, uh, long story short, when his student got grown, he bought him a Corvette and a Cadillac. Mm -hmm. And he told me one day, he said, I don't understand this, brother. He said, people walked to me and said, you don't like no Corvette, man. He said, what a Corvette man supposed to look like? I like the car. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and so sometimes people try to shape people to think. That's right. Girl, you're beautiful. You ought to be doing this. You ought to have this, you know. <laughs> man, you look good. You ought to do this. And we have people constantly. And we start yeah. all the way back in high school. Mm -hmm. you, you remember the yearbook? They ought to be together. They both have the prettiest eyes. Yes. Both <laughs> like to succeed. They match them up by physical outside characteristics. Mm -hmm. Right. But it comes to a place where we have to know who we are and what we That's are right. part of. That's mm -hmm. right. And I'm not saying it's like it's easy because it's not an easy job. No, it's not. It's not easy because we are human. Right. We have to grow. That's right. Mm -hmm. There's no real book to tell you how to be a first lady. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's yes, right. But it's, it, it may not be easy per se, mm -hmm. but if, you know, if God has called you to do something, uh, anything that you have to do, there's work. Right. You're going to have to work it. That's right. But one thing being uh, a Christian, uh, he's given us uh, scripture that, if, you know, if we fast and pray, yeah. mm -hmm. I mean, you can go through, I mean, a lot of times you will think that, oh, I don't, but if you fast and pray, God can take you through it. Oh, yes. Yes, he and can. he can take That's you right. through it much better than you would imagine. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, I was listening to uh, one pastor's wife. She was talking about how a lot of times there were things going on in her ministry and it dealt with her children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know, now that's a sticky subject. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. a sticky place. Yes. <laughs> she said, now rather than uh, really getting involved and having to tell them what she wanted or whatever. She said, what I did, I started participating in the children's ministry. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. She said, because I wanted to be near my children and I wanted them to see how they were uh, treating my children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times you have to be places and do things that you don't want to do. Right. But one thing I found out uh, you don't have to be intimidated. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, uh, I've heard people say, well, uh, I don't see how you do it. You brave. You, well, yeah, you, you, now you got to be a woman of courage. Amen. <laughs> but it's going to take God. Yeah. It's going to take God to um, help you perform this task because yeah. you will not be able to mm -hmm. be successful uh, at this task, if you don't use mm -hmm. the tools that he has that given it. us right. to use. And I really like what uh, Lady Ho says, we have influence, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it's how you use that your influence. influence. Yes. You mm -hmm. got to know how to use any mm -hmm. tool That's that right. you have, yes. because you can have the right tool, 
Mm -hmm. But if you don't know how to use it. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, in, 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 in leadership position, you know, when you're in front, there's somebody that's going to push every button mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. to make you respond a certain way. Is that right. something you experience? Mm -hmm. right. Any part of leadership, even your job, if you're the boss on the job, they're going to push every button they can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and sometimes insinuate things to get you. That's why you got to really be prayerful mm -hmm. and yes. fasting. Yes. Must pray. And, you know, like my wife said a lot of times, she said, People come to her and say, how do you feel always a woman up in your husband's face? What do you feel about him? She said, I looked at him and said, I know my husband loved God mm -hmm. more right. than anything else. That's right. Mm -hmm. And see, and knowing who your husband is, mm -hmm. knowing his behavior, mm -hmm. sometimes the outgoing spirit that he has is something God placed in him. Yes. Mm -hmm. I believe tell you, every pastor don't have the outgoing spirit to interact with his members like others. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the only reason they even see the pastor is probably up the pulpit and he hit the side door. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I like even my brother, him and his wife stand out at the front of that every time they end the service and shake everybody's hand and want to check and greet them. Mm -hmm. Let them know they won. But see, a lot of times, if the enemy can come in there and divide you in mind, right. he yes. will do that. Right. He will set you up, so that's why you to be prayerful. Lord, don't let me get in my flesh. And that's you know, right. Yes. That's right. Mm -hmm. You must pray. You yes. must. Because if you don't pray, mm -hmm. Satan will carry you in a direction sure. that you would never thought that you would be. Right. right. So prayer mm -hmm. keep us from falling. Right. Yes. right. And God right. knows that. Right. Yes. Yes, right. yes Lord. And yeah. you have to trust uh, your husband, too. Yes. Oh, yes. Because uh, like you were saying, the women, you know, will will get in his face, you know, mm -hmm. uh, be trying to get to him all the time. Mm -hmm. But uh, like your wife, she yeah. know you. Yes. And then we as a first lady, we have to know our husbands. Yes. As well. That's mm -hmm. right. As well. Mm -hmm. And trust them to be able to know that he knows. To say. I used right. to tell him a lot of times, oh, I can tell a woman no right in front of my wife as long as you're sitting there. <laughs> but the greater example when I can say no is she ain't nowhere around. Mm -hmm. Amen. You follow what That's I'm right. saying? Mm -hmm. That's right. And that is a part and the power. And sometimes with years and years, you get to know your mate. Mm -hmm. But a newly white wife, maybe they might have, mm -hmm. you might not be strong enough. I might need to go do something myself. Yes. <laughs> but as you grow yes, Lord. and prefer together mm -hmm. and learn together, yeah. learning one another, that's a ministry. Yes, it is. Yeah. Because every last one of us, men is different and women is different. Mm -hmm. I don't know anyone come perfect out of heaven. Mm -hmm. So they got this little baggage that they understand the little things. Mm -hmm. and you know, yes. They have those little things that we pray mm -hmm. one for another in the home. Sometimes right. a part mm -hmm. of your ministry as a first lady, uh, a part is the protection of your husband. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So sometimes uh, you're, if you're in a situation where you're capable, of mm -hmm. counseling, of being in counseling sessions, uh -huh. he wouldn't be in a counseling session by himself. Uh -huh. He mm -hmm. would be in a counseling session alone with you yes. mm -hmm. and another person. Yes. And yes. that's just a protection or one of the mothers in the church. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Or one of, you know, mm -hmm. uh, or one of the missionaries in oh, the yes. church. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's just simply for everybody's protection. protection. Yes. That's right. Especially you know. today. Yes, mm -hmm. especially mm -hmm. today. If so I can't hear somebody here, come here with me, we're going to talk together. I mean, somebody I can trust and get a, a prayerful person. Mm -hmm. Yes. They'll be there because the way mm -hmm. things is today, yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Even more so. That's to be right. a comfort with That's the husband. Right. So my wife just said, well, uh, somebody called me in the and lady, she said, well, I'm going to go with you. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's and right. she would go and she would pray with me. Yes, right. Lord. But if the sure. wife said, oh, I don't feel like you're going to do that. I don't. I ain't got time. I got something to do. Well, you're not really to be sacrificing, then you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> then you ain't got to be a second guesser. I wonder what's going on. Go yeah. and find out what's That's going right. on. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. You're one. Mm -hmm. Yes. Huh? That's so right. I'd be glad to walk up and say, "Oh, well, yeah. I know." One lady looked at me when my wife came in and said, "Oh, I didn't know mother was coming too." Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. we're here. Mm -hmm. But so yeah, one way so not rather than sit back and criticize, yeah. we okay. do and put ourselves in a place where. We can sacrifice and do sacrifice. Yes, That's right. right. Because in so many areas that I've worked, police department and so forth, yeah. a lot of times they have a, a, a special marriage. That problem, I said this, I'm not the only one talking about, but uh, because when they're away on call all the time, yeah. sometimes they have domestic problems. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes doctors. Mm -hmm. But the doctors call in the middle of the night to deliver a baby. baby and those particular jobs, they have to have the right person. We said earlier that mm -hmm. God mm -hmm. gives them that first that's lady right. mm -hmm. that's com comparable to them. Mm -hmm. Somebody that can understand and work things out together, both for the good. 
to the end. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Of the ministry. Mm -hmm. He said, don't yeah. let your good be evil spoken of. Exactly. Right. And a lot of times, uh, I think pastors, I think a lot of times because they are not um, thinking like that mm -hmm. or they're not mm -hmm. trying to do anything. Mm -hmm. But I think that it's important that uh, uh, in a lot of situations, most situations that your wife should go with you or mm -hmm. like uh, mm -hmm. what Lady Hope was saying, mm -hmm. because uh, people have a lot of agendas. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, uh, you know, like I've had an experience where one lady was going to tell me something, and I said, uh, I said, well, my husband loved me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, so far, I haven't had that problem anymore. <laughs> mm -hmm. But what I'm trying to say yeah. is a lot of times yeah. uh, people have agendas that mm -hmm. maybe your husband don't see. That's or you right. like mm -hmm. uh, Lady Ho said, you, you, it could be a protection factor. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. day yeah. and time we live in. Well, it for sure, the you. enemy has yeah. an agenda. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, of yes. course. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that person, like you said, had to make that sacrifice. That's yeah. right. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, I don't feel like going. Well, if he had to go, <laughs> sometimes you had to sacrifice That's what you're doing. Mm -hmm. I was cooking dinner this day, uh, <laughs> but uh, we just put on a hold. We're going to go and take care of this together. Mm -hmm. And when they see that and see that you are one, even children. Yes. Children keep you divided in the home if they know one parent and other right. parents don't know. Mm -hmm. right. So this thing that we're talking about yes, is yes. the yes. real world. It's real. Yes. Sisters, you beautiful flowers, you beautiful first ladies, we're at the end of the show. Really? Oh. Really? <laughs> oh. 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 Man. So we would like to go around you to uh, uh, give your information, brief, brief sermon. Summary, <laughs> and then we move right around and we're ready to close. Um, summarizing again, I'm Lady Donna Hope from Mount Olivet Church of God in Christ mm -hmm. at 920 South Euclid in Dayton, Ohio. Feel free to visit us at any time. Praise God. I'm First Lady Mother Foster from Grace Outreach Fellowship Church at 649 Miller Avenue, Dayton, Ohio. Um, Praise God. I'm Sister Simmons um, from Trotwood, Ohio. My church is in Trotwood, Ohio. It's 12 Strader. And the telephone number is 854-2521. Okay, I'm uh, Lady Norton. Uh, our church is Mount Zion Transformation Ministries, located at 548 Anna Street. Uh, and also, you can feel free yeah, to visit free. our church anytime. Yes, now don't be shy, you ladies. I knew y'all said lady this and lady that. You can stand I'm first lady. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we got a whole back. I'm first lady. I won't like I'm boasting, but I'm first lady. Yes. <laughs> because I'm first in the ministry. I'm, I'm God. I belong to God. Amen. And nothing wrong with being not boastful, but being proud of what God has placed us in. We have the ministry that He's thrown upon our life. Yes, yes. Lord. Praise God. And I know some of your husbands and other ones could be here. They got your back because they brought you, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank God you. bless you. Yeah. We thank you for another day. And those of you that may have not seen the inside of a first lady life, you got a little, little peek. So my instructions to you, pray for your pastor, pray for your first lady, and give God the glory that he has given both to you. May God bless you. May heaven smile on you is our prayer.